Welcome to Probiotic Healthcare. Colonization and Mechanisms of Action in Humans. The following animation has been designed to demonstrate the colonization ability of probiotics and some of the mechanisms of action of how they work within the gastrointestinal tract. The cast list. You can see here the probiotic bacteria represented in blue. Pathogens, for instance E. coli, in red. Prebiotics, which we will talk about later, are represented with a highly fibrous structure. We also have a macrophage cell, which is an example of an immune cell. Our patient is consuming the protexin probiotic formulation in the form of a capsule. And as it is swallowed, the capsule comes into contact with moisture and thus the freeze-dried probiotic bacteria revive from their dormancy state and become viable, living, replicating bacteria. The many millions of probiotic bacteria contained within the capsule are released into the gastrointestinal tract as an inoculum of beneficial bacteria. We are going to follow one single probiotic bacterium through the gastrointestinal tract in order to begin to understand how probiotic bacteria help our digestive and immune systems to remain healthy and in particular how they help prevent the growth of pathogenic bacteria. Here the probiotic bacterium emerges into its rapidly replicating stage or multiplication. This view shows how the bacterium replicates by binary fission. These probiotic bacteria can grow exponentially every 20 minutes, so the consumption of one capsule containing viable probiotic cells ensures an inoculating dose for the whole length of the gastrointestinal tract. Here we see an enlarged representation of the gut wall. The villi provide a large surface area for the colonisation of microorganisms and for the absorption of nutrients. We have many different bacteria, collectively known as the microflora, already colonised within the gut. The gut microflora is made up of beneficial and pathogenic bacteria the pathogens being suppressed to low levels when the intestine is healthy. However, the gut microflora can become disrupted by many factors, including the use of antibiotics, excessive tiredness, or from any type of stress that may reduce our immune levels. During these times, pathogens can start to grow at higher concentrations, releasing toxins which act to damage the gut wall. Further, microfloral imbalances start to occur and we may notice symptoms of this imbalance perhaps by the occurrence of indigestion, bloating or even diarrhoea. It is during these times when probiotics will be of benefit to re-establish a balanced and healthy microflora. This scene shows the probiotic bacteria multiplying. Of course, pathogenic bacteria can also multiply in the same way. Probiotic bacteria have thus developed methods to prevent, reduce or eliminate the growth and colonisation of pathogens within the gut. These methods are shown through three main mechanisms of action. Competitive exclusion works by a process of competition between the probiotic and pathogenic bacteria for adhesion or colonisation sites on the gastrointestinal wall and also by competition for nutrients within the gut. This is one of the reasons why probiotics work best as a preventative against disease. If they are able to colonise the gut wall prior to the presence of pathogens, then they can act to prevent their colonisation and growth and ultimately prevent disease. 
Probiotic microorganisms are very efficient at competing for the adhesion sites in the gastrointestinal tract. We see here the probiotic bacteria excluding the pathogenic bacteria from the gut wall. The second mechanism of action is through the production of lactic acid by the probiotic microorganisms. Lactic acid is produced as a means of optimising the immediate environment of the probiotic bacteria. It acts to reduce the pH of the gut towards a more acid environment. Since pathogenic species of bacteria, such as E. coli and Salmonella, prefer a more alkaline pH, this acid pH acts to kill them. Under stress conditions, our gut becomes more alkaline. This is one of the reasons why, when our bodies get tired, we are more likely to become diseased, as the gut conditions are more suitable for the growth of pathogenic bacteria. A third mechanism of action is to enhance and regulate the immune system. This is demonstrated by the activation of a macrophage immune cell, just one of the ways our body's immune system works. Our probiotic bacterium is able to produce chemical cytokines as a means of communicating with immune cells of the body. Here it is telling the macrophage the location of a colony of pathogenic bacteria. The macrophage is then activated to engulf the colony and destroy it. Protexin healthcare formulations also include a second active ingredient called a prebiotic. A prebiotic is defined as a non-digestible food ingredient that beneficially affects the host by selectively stimulating the growth and or activity of one or a limited number of bacteria in the colon to improve host health. This is known as a bifidogenic process. This is particularly important in the lower regions of the gut, such as the colon, where large quantities of bifidobacteria are found. By combining a prebiotic with probiotic microorganisms, you have what is commonly called a synbiotic formulation. Here the ingredients produce a synergistic effect. I hope this animation has provided you with a very brief visual idea of the microflora contained within the gastrointestinal tract, and in particular, the vital role that probiotics and prebiotics play in this complex environment.